everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just here to bring you my um, latest digital printables that I have recently created and uh, popped into my Etsy shop. So the first ones that I shall just show you are basically these vintage postcards. Um, and this might well be, well I think this is a postcard, yes, postcard. Um, and basically I picked these up recently, they are vintage, this one was from 19, 1910, um, I can't see a date on these but they they are vintage. So um, this basically is set number one and I have just printed this here onto some cardstock. Then I have done a second set which is basically the same images but I have altered them in orange kind of tones which I thought looked rather nice and you know sometimes quite versatile to have some other things so I've just altered kind of one or two things with here uh, so basically you've got this one which is kind of um, shaped now this one here which has got this kind of edge to it and also this too has got a kind of border so that's also obviously been printed onto cardstock and then here I've got another one which I have just printed onto cardstock which I had coffee dyed first so um, I'm fully loving my new printer I have to say because my old printer was um, you know not up to much and you know struggled with the basic kind of things so this printer is fantastic and it takes through the coffee dyed cardstock and things which I have my doubts you know I thought it would jam but it's all good so that's this one and then here I've got the same images again um, but in tones of blue I'm rather loving kind of doing things I quite like things in kind of monotone because I sometimes feel that I'm a little bit obsessed with colour you know coordination and things so if things are not part of the original paper pack for instance I, I struggle to kind of put them in there if they've got other colours because I don't really feel they go so I rather like having kind of just monotone um, things that then I feel go much more easily with a bigger variety of um, journals and images so that's this one again this has been printed onto some coffee dyed cardstock and this one I have just done in a kind of oval shape so I'm going to kind of show you or give you a couple of ideas of things that I've done with these how I've decorated them and how you might use them in a journal and then I'm going to show you my other um, printables so these are all kind of sale individually so there's this set there's the blue ones and there's the orange ones and then I'm going to show you in a moment my other ones which um, you know that I think are quite exciting for me they felt quite exciting to kind of make so um you know if you want to skip ahead to that bit then feel free but I'm just going to kind of show you <clears throat> one or two kind of things here so this for instance was the postcard here which um was the original kind of postcard and I've just put some lace trim on here and a couple of lace flowers <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat I'm afraid and just to kind of show you, I mean, you could either use this as a kind of journaling card, obviously just tucked into a pocket or paper clipped on, or you could use this as a tuck spot or a pocket on a page. Um, either way, I think, you know, would be really nice. I mean, looks beautiful on this polka dot paper. So that's that one. And then here, I've just got a couple of the other ones. So if I show you kind of these blue ones first so this one is just one that I have literally printed and just cut out and left blank so personally I think that looks lovely on its own just as it is and again could just pop that in as a kind of pocket on the page or indeed as a kind of um, you know pull out uh, tag you know or paper clipped on but again you know quite versatile I think with kind of how you could use this and again goes on a variety of colours I mean you wouldn't automatically put it on this kind of pink colour but actually it looks surprisingly really nice um, you know and then the journal that I've been using to kind of demonstrate um, with my series at the moment the use not stash with the Tilda products I mean that's got this blue page so just to kind of demonstrate it picking up the blue 
it looks really nice on there. Looks good on the green, um, you know, and I'm sure no doubt will look, you know, very pretty on this kind of polka dot paper too. So um, I really like that and, you know, sometimes I think plain is just, just what you need really. So that's that one. And then these two, again, these are just from the original colourways. So basically all three of these are from this original colourway um, set and they've all been co uh, copied just onto the coffee dyed cardstock. So again this I have just cut it out using a um, decorative edge scissor and then literally edged it with some lace and popped on a little bow in the corner there. So you know again I think looks really pretty and great as either just a little tag journaling card or as a tuck spot or a pocket you know on a page looks you know brilliant I think kind of however it is really um you know really kind of pleased how they came out so you know that's that one and then exactly the same with this and I've just popped a little bit of lace and a printed um ticket and then just a little flower here like that so that's those and then nearly forgot to show you um this one again it's from the blue set so if I just pull the blue set back Obviously these ones haven't been coffee dyed, so this is just from the blue set printed out onto, you know, plain paper rather than coffee dyed paper. And what I did was I just made a little booklet using this postcard here and literally I just folded it in half and then I stapled in some pages to form a little booklet. And then I've just altered a paper clip just with some lace and just clip that on. And again, I mean, I think that just looks gorgeous. And, you know, you could just clip that onto a page anywhere kind of in your journal. So, you know, really nice kind of, um, you know, embellishments there. So, and actually just before I show you the other set, I'll um, just show you, this is one of my embellishment kits that I have done this week. So I will just show you what I've done here with the oval one. So basically I cut out from the blue set again, cut out the oval one onto some coffee dyed cardstock and then I've just glued it onto this envelope and decorated around it with some lace and some flowers and what have you. And it just looks so pretty. Um, you know, I just think that looks beautiful. And then on the other side, I have just used obviously, oops, this one here. I've just inked it up and then I've glued it on to the envelope as a little tuck. So that's that one. And now as usual, I'm not going to be able to tuck this back in on camera. Right, <laughs> and just pop some flowers to the edge. So, you know, again, really versatile and really like using kind of the plainer colours I think they really um, give a lot of options so that's kind of that lot of printables which I wanted to bring you and show you so they're all in my Etsy shop which I will link below and then my next set of printables which I'm really excited because these felt very um, you know gosh I really must apologize I actually hadn't noticed my camera flick off so I'm not quite sure which point it flicked off and how I'm going to quite join um, the two videos together so forgive me if I just repeat myself for a couple of moments um, but I'm just kind of winging it a little bit kind of um, you know trying to kind of put these bits together again so my next lot of printables that I've created I'm really excited by these ones basically they are two sheets of A4 and a total of eight um, journal cards or pockets, you know, however kind of you wanted to use them. And they are all adapted from uh, vintage images and vintage books. So I have kind of obviously uh, overlaid images and recolored images, softened the edges, added effects and things like that. So feel quite excited by these ones. So here you've got kind of a menu and I've overlaid this lady. 
Um, here another little card, I've overlaid these ladies. Here you've got another menu, um, which again I rather liked it in the blue. I've just added some decorative corners. And here you've got another card, and I think this was I think Queen Victoria's mother, although I could well be wrong. Um, and then on page number two, you've got again another card here and some flowers overlaid, and I've just left a postcard kind of image in there, which I thought was quite useful because you could kind of journal on there. Then this one is rather a large one, which again, I've overlaid some flowers and um, given it some decorative effects and things. I thought that was rather nice. This one here was a frame which I have kind of faded out and then I've put this vintage image which I've kind of softened her around the edges and popped her on. And a little clock here and a flower, which again, they were all from vintage books. And then here, this one, I love this one. It's again, another menu added a kind of border, popped some flowers on and this um, lovely vintage lady. So I tried to keep the colours quite neutrally. Um, they are quite yellow in colour, that's kind of how they were and I have kind of tried to change the colours um, a little bit but they are still quite yellow but I don't dislike that, I, I think that's quite nice. So again what I've done, I've just literally done a couple of effects on a couple of them just to kind of give you some ideas of how they could be used. So I don't know whether you kind of saw my uh, video recently of my Dusty Rose um, journal but in that particular one I had used this um, card here as a journaling card and I just literally added a flower, inked her up, added a flower with a little like pearl, that looked really pretty and then I also used this one in that journal and I just left that completely plain, but it worked really nicely in there. So I then have kind of decorated these ones up just to kind of give you some ideas. So this is obviously image number one, and all I've done is literally inked all around it, inked around at the back, popped some lace on, a little stamp ticket, a flower and a little bow. And then you could use this again, obviously, as either a tag, or as a little tuck spot or a pocket on a page. So just to kind of give you some ideas of how that would look, just kind of bring in some kind of journal um, paper just to kind of show you how that would look. So that's that one. Then I'm going to move that out of the way. I've then created this one with again some lace trim at the top, some of this faux de monte and a little flower. Again, I've just inked it all up didn't think the back because I thought this one I would use as a kind of pocket or a tuck spot on a page or I would maybe kind of uh, lay it on an envelope or something um, but again just to kind of give you a bit of ideas of you know what you can do with that really so again I really you know really like that and then here this one I have just literally um, popped on some lace trim and a bit of faux de monte and a flower and here a butterfly so again, that could kind of be placed on a page or again, you could use it as a kind of tag. So that's that one. This one here, I've just again inked it all up, inked up the back so you could use that as a tag or you could paper clip it onto a page. And then I've added some black lace, which I rather like using. I've stuck on a stamped image here of a ticket and then a little bow and a flower down there. So again, you could use this either as a tag or as a tuck spot or a pocket on a page so that's to kind of just give you a bit of an idea there of you know how that would look on a page and you know I think she looks really nice so that's that and then this one I love this blue one I have just literally inked this up so this is just printed literally onto white cardstock um, and then I have literally inked it up all around the edges and then I've stuck some faux de monte on a little flower and a butterfly and that can just literally be used either as a pull out tag you could paper clip it onto a page or obviously you could use that as a little pocket itself so you know again I think kind of it's it's quite a versatile image there so that's that one and then the final one really is this one which I just love this and what I've done is I've obviously inked her up and I've glued her just onto an envelope here, just a small envelope. And then I've just popped some lace down the side 
and then I've got a stamped image here of a little frame which I have glued on and a bit of photo monte trim down the bottom so and again I mean you could just kind of paper clip her onto a page like that and you know looks really really pretty or obviously you kind of glue her on as a kind of flap like that um, you know kind of however however kind of you want really but I just wanted to give you some ideas of how to kind of use them um, and the kinds of things that I I'm intending on using them for um, so yeah as I say they're all available in my shop which I shall link below um, and these are I just noticed that my camera had flicked off again I really don't know why it does that but it's very frustrating um, these are available as a one page download each um, you know so I just wanted to quickly stop by and show you those really and um, my book kit is almost finished you know very almost finished so hopefully I will be uploading that and kind of um, showing you that very soon so um, I hope that you liked kind of these items and if you did you know feel free to check them out and um, give it a thumbs up so thanks very much for watching and have a great day thanks a lot